Today I'm going to do a Glock function and safety check, also called a limited inspection or user level inspection in the Glock manual. All these checks, except for the last one, are called out in the manual to be done during the cleaning process. This will work on a Glock 19, Glock 17, Glock 22, any, any Glock actually. First step is to visually examine your frame and your slide. What we're looking for here is just any obvious cracks, bulges, anything that looks out of place. We want to take a look at the trigger, make sure the trigger looks good, make sure your magazine release works. You see it on the inside, it's moving. Everything looks good there. On the slide, we just want to give it a good examination. Make sure nothing's cracked or corroded and make sure we did indeed get it clean during the cleaning process. Quick barrel inspection. Make sure there's no bulges or cracks in the barrel. Make sure there's no obstructions whatsoever in the bore. Everything looks good. So the firing pin safety test is you'll take the firing pin lug right here Make sure that moves all the way back. It's under spring pressure, so it's not super easy to do. And don't let it snap forward. But when you release the pressure on it, it should move forward, but it shouldn't go any further than that. The firing pin should not come out this hole. All right, so that's the firing pin safety test. Now the firing pin test is we want to press on the firing pin safety plunger, which is here. So when you're pressing on that, the firing pin will come out if you press it forward. Go back and forth. When the firing pin plunger, safety plunger is not being pressed, the firing pin does not go, does not poke out through the hole. And the next test is the firing pin channel. So the channel where the firing pin sits and moves back and forth inside this hole here we want to make sure the firing pin is nice and loose. So if you hold the slide and you press this plunger down, you should be able to hear the firing pin flopping back and forth. The extractor is this claw looking thing here and this grabs a hold of your brass after it's been fired and yanks it out of the chamber and injects it out of the gun. So just make sure there's nothing in this channel here. Make sure that's nice and clean. You can look at it from both sides. Next thing we want to look at is the ejector. And that is this piece right here. This just sits here. And as the slide comes back with the brass, it forces the brass into this, which then catapults it out of the gun. So it does have a slight bend to it. That's normal. So just make sure that's in good shape. Now the slide stop lever test. So this is the slide stop here. When you press that up, it's on both sides. When you press that up, it should snap back down under spring pressure. So just make sure that that works. Have a magazine, just make sure it's not cracked. Make sure it's not dirty. It can be taken apart. You just press this pin here and then you can pull the bottom off. You want to be careful that there is a spring in there. Make sure that the follower, which is this orange piece here, moves up and down but when you want to check all your magazines all right real quick i'm going to reassemble the gun put the barrel in recoil spring assembly line the notches up bring it in nice and gentle i think the first check is going to be the trigger safety check. So before we do that, I know we just put it together. Always check anytime you're thinking on pressing that trigger, putting your finger on that trigger, always make sure the gun is unloaded. I don't care if you already checked it twice. All right, we have new ammo in the gun. So now what we want to do is check the trigger safety. So this trigger is designed so it won't fire unless this middle tab is pressed. As you can see it moves a piece out of the way so if you if you just take the sides of the trigger and not press the middle push the trigger back it should not dry fire so this one so that's your trigger test now you want to make sure that it does fire so we're going to do the trigger reset test 
which is next. And this is basically always point the gun in a safe direction, even though you know it's unloaded. I'm going to point this down toward the ground. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the trigger the proper way, hold it to the rear, reset the action by racking the slide, release it. That's your reset. Make sure it fires again. Release pressure until the reset. Press the trigger again. The next thing we're going to check here on the gun is to make sure the uh, slide lock locks open. So that's a slide lock open test. So you want to take a verified empty magazine, put it into the gun, and now we're going to simulate firing the gun by racking the slide. The slide should lock back. And there we have it. Okay, so for the last check, basically I'm just going to take uh, five rounds of uh, dummy rounds, snap caps or dummy rounds, and load them into a magazine, load it into the gun. I'm going to rack the slide to load the gun. And now I'm just going to simulate firing the gun by racking the slide five times. And each time it should extract and eject one of those dummy rounds and load the next one. So when I rack the slide five times in a row, it should eject five rounds, and then it should lock back when the magazine is empty. And it should lock back when the gun is empty. All right, we are good to go. Everything is working. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button below and subscribe, and we have new videos coming out all the time. Thanks for watching.